We are heading to my vascular ultrasound at Mercy Hospital. So that's what I'm doing today. We just parked. The pr we drove the Princess Mobile. Mom drove the Princess Mobile. It was really cold, but we did it. We found the entrance. It was a task. Jeez. <laughs> they had one of those cool temperature face scanner things when we came in. I didn't get vlog footage of it. I wish I did, but it was pretty cool. You just stand in front of it and it like scans you. I think we were both like 97 because it's cold outside. So now we disrobed and just waiting for the test. I just got home a little bit ago uh, from my vascular uh, ultrasound and uh, all that I've been doing is work for my job that I'm working remotely for. Um, I've been doing work all day and did a quiz and now I am going to watch on Netflix to all the boys always and forever the new one that just came out. I am so freaking excited for it. I stand all these movies since the first one came out and I'm so excited to see the new one. So I am headed to my upper endoscopy, is that what it is? And they, I believe they're taking cultures while they're in there too. Um, so yeah, that's what we are driving to right now in Baltimore. Use the left two lanes to keep left onto I-395 North toward downtown Inner Harbor. So we just parked in the parking garage and now we are walking to it. Everything you know how to know the picker up floor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to take a urine sample to prove that I'm not pregnant, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> This is what my room looks like. It's like a little hospital bed. So that I'm ready for pre-op. Alrighty y'all, so I am all ready to go. I'm just waiting for them to come in and take me to my endoscopy. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog. I'll definitely vlog after, but I have to put my phone away, so. And my mom was not allowed to come with me because of COVID, so. Yeah. Now I'm getting hooked up to the IV. Yeah. So the anesthesiologist came in and talked to me and my doctor came in and talked to me. So he said I'm good to go and I should be ready to go back to the procedure. He said it's like 10 minutes, so it's really short. Hey guys, I feel like my eyes are still a little heavy, but I just woke up from my endoscopy. It was very painless, very easy. I literally just feel like I woke up from a fat nap. <laughs> I haven't been sleeping well, so that was fantastic. But my nurse is going to get me some apple juice, um, and then I should be good to go. 
So I am all dressed back in my clothes again. I literally feel like I'm drunk when <laughs> I'm walking. I'm like so dizzy, but all done my endoscopy. Hey y'all, so I am here at Mercy again for my breath test. So I'm about to hop on the elevator. So I have to go to this. That's what we're doing today. I'm very tired. I have not been sleeping well and I had to fast all day yesterday. I'll talk more, but here we go. This is what I'm doing. That has been killing me. <laughs> so that is basically all this test is from what I'm gauging is I drink something and then I breathe into that little thing where it puffs out the bag and then I pull down on the syringe so the air goes into the syringe. So that's all I'm really doing. Uh, they're doing it every like 15, 30, 45, 60. It goes up to 120 minutes. So. Yeah, and after each time I take a blow test, I put my symptoms down on this little chart, so. That's all that I'm doing. It's really just waiting a lot of it. So this is where I'm at at 45 minutes. I'm having mostly abdominal pain, cramping, and foamless after drinking all that liquid. But yeah, that's what we're doing. So this is where we're at. Apparently my glucose test was already positive, so I don't know exactly what that means, but. So the nurse came in and just said that I tested positive for the glucose, which she kind of explained it as I have bacteria overgrowth in my abdomen. I don't know where, whether it's in my like, I don't know where the bacteria is located. Um, but yeah, that's what she said. So I don't know if I'm done all my red tests or if I still have more to do, but yep. Hopefully this will test will give us some more answers, but that's all I've been doing is just breathing into a tube every 20 minutes. <laughs> this is an inside look into what is going on um, in here. These pictures kind of freak me out. Um, but yeah, just a little inside look <laughs> into what my inside look like. <laughs> okay, that's it, Sam. This is you. All right, everyone, so I am back home now. That was it for the breath test. Since I tested positive for the glucose test, that meant I was done for the testing and I didn't have to do any other tests. So I meet with my doctor next week, I believe, to discuss the results of all of these tests that were included in this video. So I might do like an update video letting you all know if we found anything or what we found, etc. But that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed getting to follow me along on a chronic illness day in my life or week in my life uh just of like tests tests and more tests uh it's always searching for more answers and living the best life that i can and having the highest quality of life possible with the illnesses that i have to deal with and live with day to day but that is it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it comment below a new video request and don't forget to stop sharing and subscribe to join the family i will see you all in my next video love you bye Mwah.